Hi everyone. So I wanted to explain why I think voting is very important. So if you put yourself in the position of a politician, what politicians ultimately want is they want votes. So if they're given resources to control from a taxpayer, we're going to spend those resources in a way that gets them the most votes, right? It might seem a bit cynical, but that's just what they're going to do. So if you are a part of a community, and I don't mean community as in people who sort of gather and, and things, I just mean a particular sort of group, a particular demographic, for example. And if that particular demographic doesn't vote, then there's very little incentive for the government to actually do anything for that group because they're not going to get any more votes. So it's a bit of a waste of time for them to actually help that community because they're not going to actually re-elect the politician who helped them. This is part of a problem in America. The um, African-American community don't actually... Um, oh, they kind of vote tribally. They kind of always vote Democrat. 95% of the time or more, they always vote Democrat. And you might think, well, what's the problem here? Well, the Democrats take the vote for granted. A lot of African Americans, when Obama was in office, said that they were really disappointed because they thought Obama was going to make big sweeping changes, but he never did. He never made the changes that can actually help the help these communities. So, and it's the same with a lot of working class communities in the UK who don't tend to vote. It, they don't vote, so the politicians don't spend too much time trying to help these communities. Now. This is obviously a really cynical approach, but this is why everyone should vote, right? Because it gives the politicians, um, the politicians think to themselves, well, we need to actually earn these votes instead of thinking, well, this community is going to vote for us or this community is never going to vote. They'll think, hey, let's improve the lives of these people and hopefully they'll reward us by voting us back in. Anyway. This is, um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say on, on the matter. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's for European elections today. So I'm just about to go out and vote. I know a lot of other people were, um, voting today, obviously. The European elections tend to get far fewer votes from the national elections. But I think this is probably going to be different today because I think a lot of people are going to be thinking, well, our government has failed to deliver Brexit. So, we're going to go out and we're going to vote either UKIP or Brexit Party. Um, if I have a choice of the two, I would actually choose um, UKIP over the Brexit Party because I kind of think the Brexit Party is probably going to pack up after an, after an election or two. So I think, the, I think UKIP are probably going to um, be a better bet if um, you want to vote for a sort of democratic, stable party. And, you know, say what you like about the... Um, you know, UKIPers or whatever, they are pretty stable and they are pretty democratic. You know, they've been going since the 1990s, I think. But uh, yeah, obviously, if you um, if you're sort of a Remainer and you feel that we should remain in the European Union, a lot of people are voting for Lib Dems or Labour, even though Labour are kind of 50-50. I know Jeremy Corbyn's a Lever, so that's a bit of a problem there. But um. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I am interesting to see results. Uh, I personally predict that the Conservatives are going to lose very, very badly in this election and the next because they've been a bit useless. You know, you've even got people who have voted for the Tories all their lives who are now going to vote for the Brexit Party or UKIP because they're sort of thinking, well, look, we voted to leave and you've got a democratic mandate to leave. So why not, why haven't you left already? Theresa May said no deal is better than a bad deal, and you might argue, well, that's just a catchphrase, but it's also a statement of intent. So we should have left, and we haven't. So a lot of people are really angry about that. We feel like that we feel like um, we've got this democracy, right? And usually politicians make decisions on our behalf, and we vote for the politicians. But this was direct democracy. This was um, a referendum, and it should be honoured. So anyway, um, it doesn't matter who you vote for. What matters is that you vote. So yeah, I would encourage everyone to um, go and vote in this election and the next election because you need to show politicians that if they do something right, 
you'll reward them, and if they do something wrong, you'll punish them, basically. That's um, the most basic kind of classic conditioning, you know? You reward things that you like, and you punish things that you don't like. So if you or your community or, you know, whatever particular socioeconomic block you happen to be in doesn't vote, you have a lot less power and you're going to get far fewer government resources, generally speaking, than socioeconomic groups that do vote. And this is one of the reasons why Gordon Brown introduced the um, winter tax winter tax fuel allowance. Um, it started off as a very small allowance, but it quickly grew to something that was pretty huge. Well, it's not pretty huge, but you get the idea. It's sort of older people tend to vote a lot more than younger people, so, you know, the government would give them more resources. Anyway, that's everything. Um, get out and vote today or whenever, and thank you very much for listening.